Hey, hold up there. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Igor, fetch me the brain. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. The brain implant could fit him, but that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. All right, let's do this. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mm, what a joke. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You have always been my good boy. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Friends all over. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about?
right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. to get into the Institute. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. I had no idea. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable, all right? Let's talk details. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? You're going to have to kill one. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Are you here for the synth? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. That you cannot have. Glowing sea, Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a courser chip. A courser chip? You fought a courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Next up, the Railroad. Choo choo! Follow the Freedom Trail. Good luck. Seven. And A. Some sort of code? Four. And L. Definitely a code. Two. Now a six and an O. Three I. 
five R. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. So, that's not right. There we go. Stop right there. Uh -huh. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Your enemy. If that's true? Oh, I see you invited the killer. Nice. You're saying this intruder actually killed a leader of the railroad. To hell with that. Des, we need to let him in. That violates our security protocols. He's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. Right, some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. Fine, it's yours. All right, Tom, make it happen. Show me that sweet bass note. Come on, man. Then we got it! We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya! Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you, I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. One, I know. Everyone. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. 